Hi, uh, welcome back to our unboxing YouTube channel. I am Eliza. I'm Amber. Both of us from the Hatfield Public Library, and I just wanted to share something really special that we're doing over the next two weeks, which is we're having a Hatfield Readers Awards where you can come by and vote for your favorite books and movies of the year. So we have an adult ballot, kids ballot. We have all the books laid out for you to see, and it's a really fun, fun thing. I'm super excited to see what people vote for. Thank you. And we have a big box of books. One picture book. Who's going to get the picture book? <laughs> you can have it. We'll start with the picture book, to be fair. This is The Snow Bear by Sean Taylor. Looks really fun. It looks really cute. Yeah. Nice. It's appropriate for all the snow that we've, we've been getting. We might be getting soon. So much snow. We're going to get clobbered again. Uh... It's an audiobook by Andy Ware, Artemis. By the, it's the same author as The Martian. And I'm actually reading this book right now, the old school actual book book. Uh, but I really love The Martian and I really love this new book. And I think it would be really good on audio. He's got great dialogue. Let's see. Uh, probiotic blends, smoothies, and more. Invigorating recipes for dynamic digestion. Uh, this will probably go under... I don't know, health and diet, <laughs> I'm guessing. They look kind of good yeah. in the smoothies. I really like the cover. I don't know what that stuff is, but... It has flowers in it. beautiful. This is a novel called The Boat People, and it's about Sri Lankan uh, refugees who go to Canada and uh, think they're going to be okay, but I think then they get accused of terrorism. So this is a huge um, topic right now in the news, and it's a real problem where people, you know, are trying to find a place to be safe. Um, the Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. That looks like probably a thriller. Yeah, it's definitely thriller. like a thriller mystery. We have a ton of thrillers and mysteries. I didn't peek in the box, but I looked down the list, and we have a ton of thrillers and mysteries, including this one, The Chalk Man by CJ C. J. Tudor. I think everybody wants to sit inside when it's cold and, like, you know, read a chilly mystery. Uh, no Time to Spare by Ursula Le Guin. Um, and... It looks like it's a nonfiction. This is... Yeah, yeah. It's essays about her life. And she's a really interesting woman who did a lot of... A lot of I mean, her writing is amazing. So. It looks like she writes about cultural perceptions of fantasy and breakfast and <laughs> other things. <laughs> the big stuff and the little stuff. Right. That's what I like. Uh, Freya is a about a woman uh, after World War II and in the 60s. I think just I think it's just a novel about women. This is actually the same publisher that did My Brilliant Friend, the super duper popular Elena Ferrante series, uh, this Europa editions. They often do really good books. And I always like their covers. They're sort of very natural. Uh, James Lee Burke Robicho. Come on, Amber. <laughs> Robe, robish show. Robish. Uh, it will have so many readers. <laughs> Clearly, so many neither readers. of us took French. <laughs> or at least I didn't. <laughs> I didn't, obviously. Uh, <laughs> the Women in the Window. This is another uh, sort of suspense thriller that's getting a lot of buzz. Uh, I, I don't know. I'll have to try some of these because I do. I don't read them all, but sometimes I really get into them. I mean, I kind of like the cover. I feel mm -hmm. like it's like a little bit more modern, maybe a little different. Yeah. Yeah, it's like those creepy, like someone's peeking in through the Venetian blinds mm. or peeking out. Um, the Immortalists by Chloe Benjamin. This actually, I, this looks good. I have no idea what it's about, but it looks A good. A literary thriller. I feel like I, I read about it in this, um, 1969. If you knew the date of your death, how would you live oh, your life? Oh, yeah. The siblings go to the fortune teller and find out the dates of their deaths. And I might read that one. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a friend of mine on Goodreads or someone was reading it and really liked it. Um, Tears of Salt, a doctor's story. This is uh, about a doctor who worked um, with refugees who are arriving in into Europe. So another more serious one, but important. 
um, Munich by Robert Harris. I have something to say, which is that we're currently reading a Robert Harris book for Book Club Conclave, oh. and it's really good, and he is an amazing writer. Hmm. Yep. Uh, and this one is about Hitler. Hitler. But Munich. He, yeah, so. He's a great writer. The Book of Separation, a memoir. Is it a fiction? fiction? It's um, no, it's it's a memoir, so it's a true story, and it's about a Orthodox Jewish woman, I think, who separates from her husband, and it's got a really beautiful color cover, but also sort of sad. Next is the Music Shop by Rachel Joyce. It looks kind of funky. Uh, it takes place in 1988. Yeah, it's sort of, a, that counts as historical fiction now. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, hate to break it to you. It looks like sort of a fun, slightly quirkier novel. A lot of music references. The, the, I don't know if this is going to be the last P.D. James, but since she passed away, there probably aren't going to be too many more, but this is, I guess, um, some short stories of hers that they collected and published, and she's certainly one of my all-time favorite mystery writers. Uh, the Mitford Murders by Jessica Fellows. I think that's based on the real Mitford sisters. 19, uh, in 1920? Yeah. Yeah, the Mitford sisters were... <laughs> I'm sure someone else could tell you much more about the Mitford sisters, but they were basically... They all... Um, there was a, like, a writer, and one of them was a Nazi, and they just were all very rich and did crazy things with all their lives. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Wikipedia probably could have done a better job with that. <laughs> uh, the Girls in the Picture, another historical fiction. This one is about two Hollywood, two women in Hollywood. 1914. So we have a lot of like historical stuff, thrillers yeah. and historical. The yeah. last book is by Ali Smith called Winter. And I think that's the sequel to um to Autumn. <laughs> yeah, it is. Hey, I guess, I'm guessing what comes next is spring, but who knows? <laughs> and that won a ton of prizes last year. More, definitely more on the literary side. It just says when four people, strangers and family, converge on a 15-bedroom house in Cornwall for Christmas, will there be enough room for everyone? So, yeah, Drama. probably not. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Empty. Empty. See you next time. Bye. Come vote.